making a little bon bonrito here. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah, this is Pepper, and today we're going to talk about what to do if your bunny is just a little bit overweight and what we can do to help them have a healthier lifestyle. So before I begin, I just wanna say, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, please let us know if you have an overweight rabbit and what you do for your rabbit in terms of keeping them at a healthy, stable weight. All right, let's get started. So I brought Pepper as a little bit of an example today because Pepper is bordering on being an overweight bunny. She eats a lot and she eats the other rabbit's food a lot. Obviously, it's really important for you to keep your rabbits in shape. This means feeding them the correct foods. This means making sure they have plenty of exercise and keeping their lifestyles very stable and consistent. I'm gonna go through how you check to see if your rabbit is overweight. The biggest thing you can do is to feel your rabbit's bodies and check what is called the body condition score. Basically, the body condition score is just their shape. So first we're gonna look at them from above and from the sides. All right, so if I look at Pepper from above, she should have a waist. I should be able to see her legs here and her stomach here. Obviously she's a long haired rabbit, so it's a little bit harder, but right now I can tell you that I don't see much of a shape. After you check to see if they have a waist, you are going to feel their tummies. Now their tummy should be squishy. <laughs> it should be going in and out if you touch it like this. It shouldn't be rock hard or you know, nothing's there. If it's hard, that means that your rabbit probably has gas and is probably in a lot of pain, possibly even going into stasis. So that is a good way of knowing if your rabbit is sick too, is to feel their stomach. And if it's like, you know, bulging, it could be a sign to go to the vet. The next thing you're gonna do is feel around your rabbit's side and back. So we should be able to feel their ribs. I can feel Pepper's ribs right here. We should be able to feel their hind leg bones here, their spine, which I can feel, hip bones. So you should be able to feel all of these things quite easily. Not so easily that they stick out, you know, um, that would be more of like a malnourished rabbit but you should be able to feel them. I mean, if it, there's too much fat in the way and you can't even feel your rabbit's ribs or spine, there's definitely an issue there. There's not always one cause of weight gain in rabbits. A lot of the times though, it is because of too little of exercise. Of course, another reason is too much food. Rabbits should really have 80% of their diet be hay, that's it. Depending on the type of hay you have, Timothy hay is the best in terms of least fatty type of hay, but this is what your rabbit should be eating every single day, all the time, grazing on hay. The last thing I'll say about causes is that it's very rarely due to a medical problem that your rabbit is overweight. That would lean more on the side of being underweight if there is a medical problem. So like I said, too much food and very little exercise is what really causes your rabbits to gain weight. Obesity in rabbits can cause lots of health risks. This are things like arthritis because they can't hold themselves up because they're too heavy. So they get lots of pain in their joints and that's really sad for them. And then it's like a cycle because if they're hurting, they don't wanna exercise, they don't wanna play, then they start gaining even more weight. So, you know, you have to make sure that you're on top of this. Um, something else would be heart disease, fly strike, hello liver disease, and even skin problems. All right, so what can we do to fix these issues? So for example, exercise. How can we get our rabbits to be more active? In the wild, they'd be doing things like foraging and roaming and getting away from predators all day long. They get a ton of exercise in the wild, but we don't have wild rabbits, so what do we do? Well, there's lots of toys that you can find online that kind of encourage your rabbit to do things like digging, digging mats, foraging mats, um, tunnels, really engage rabbits and running around, you know, 
um, kind of like they would be in their burrow. I just recently got a tunnel and they love it. And they genuinely do run through it a lot. Um, and it's been great for their exercise. Exploring, like I said, free roaming your rabbit and herbal blends are things that you can kind of like use for your rabbit to forage. So you can sprinkle them into a foraging mat and like get your rabbit to dig through it and find the blends. You can also kind of hide it around your house in different locations so that your rabbits smell it, but don't necessarily know where it is and can go and run and try to find it. This is really good for not only like exercise, but also mental stimulation and things like that. So after exercise, we're gonna talk about the diet. Like I said, your, di your rabbit's diet should be 80% hay, 10% pellets, and then 10% veggies. Fruit should really only be like 1% if that. I hardly give my rabbits fruit because it's so, so sugary. And in terms of pellets, it should be a really small amount. Like I give each rabbit one eighth of a cup of pellets in the morning and at night. And that seems like the tiniest, oh, the littlest baby's bit. And they are so upset. Like they want so much more, obviously. Like I said, they love their pellets, but it's not good for them. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening to this and for bearing with Pepper's attitude. Um, we hope that this has been an informational video for you. Let us know if you have issues with your, I'm making a little bun, bun -rito here. Let us know if you have issues with your rabbits and what you do to help their issues in terms of eating too much. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we are at PCP Buns. I'm Sarah and please like, subscribe and comment below. Thanks everyone. Bye.